Welcome to the virtual information session for Metropolitan State University's RN to BSN nursing program. My name is Lynn Iverson Istone, and I'm an academic advisor at Metro State. This session is part of a video series and will address the degree components for our RN to BSN program. This slide represents the overall components for Metro State's bachelor's degree. Starting with the top left blue quadrant, we have GELS. GELS is an acronym that stands for General Education and Liberal Studies. General education is organized into 10 different goal areas for students to complete. These goal areas cover content from communication, math and natural sciences, social and behavioral sciences, arts and humanities, ethics and civic responsibility, and people and the environment. The liberal studies requirement includes eight credits of general education coursework completed at an advanced upper division level. The GELS requirement is the foundational learning that provides an opportunity to look at information in the world through a variety of disciplines and perspectives. In addition to GELS, we have a unique racial issues graduation requirement. This one course requirement demonstrates our commitment to fostering an anti-racist learning environment at Metro State and can often overlap with a remaining goal area you may still need. It is likely you have completed several of the general education goal areas as part of your associate's degree. However, we find it fairly common that nursing students need at least one to two GELS courses to fulfill the remaining bachelor's degree requirements. The major is another degree component, the top right or orange quadrant. Each student selects a primary program of study or what we call a major, in this case nursing. The nursing major includes 33 credits spread over 11 courses. In addition, medical ethics is a non-nursing course, but is part of the nursing major, which is in addition to the 33 credits of nursing. The bottom two quadrants on the slide, minors and electives, are oftentimes not needed by nursing students. Electives, the red quadrant at the bottom right, are optional courses where students get to decide what to take. Sometimes students need an elective or two to meet the credit totals required for the bachelor's degree, which I will get to momentarily but it is fairly uncommon for nursing students to need electives simply because of the rigor and credit-rich nature of associate degree programs in nursing. Students are always welcome to take additional elective courses if they wish to do so. Minors, the final green quadrant of the slide, are optional. Sometimes students have an established concentration of credits already earned in a particular discipline, and it makes sense for them to declare a minor because they only need one to two more courses. Sometimes students have a particular interest in another discipline that they would like to pursue. Minors possess fewer credits than majors and can add additional scope or depth to a student's educational experience. If you have questions about pursuing a minor, please discuss this with your advisor so you understand the requirements, process to declare, and impact on your degree completion. Bachelor's degrees also include specific credit totals that must be reached in order to graduate. Minimally, students must complete 120 semester credits. This includes all credits that we accept and transfer, as well as credits you complete at Metro State. Sometimes students graduate in excess of 120 credits simply because they come to Metro State with a lot of transfer credits. Occasionally, students need an elective course or two to reach the minimum 120 total credits. For the general education and liberal studies requirement, at least 48 credits of coursework are required, which is fairly easy to acquire. The Racial Issues Graduation Requirement is one course that focuses on issues of race and racism in the U.S. Again, this course often can overlap with another general education or liberal studies course. At least 30 of your degree credits must be earned through Metro State. This is our residency requirement and is a common requirement across institutions of higher education. Additionally, at least 40 of your degree credits must be upper division, and I'll go over that in the next slide. Finally, students must have at least a 2.0 GPA to graduate. This is a C average and is only based on your Metro State coursework. I mentioned on the previous slide that 40 of your degree credits must be upper division. Upper division courses are considered advanced level coursework, sometimes akin to junior or senior level courses. Upper division course numbers typically start with a three or four. So for example, nursing 335. Students who have only earned community college credits would complete the entire 40 upper division credits at Metro State simply because community college credits are lower division by design. The nursing major includes 33 credits, all of which are upper division. 
Remember, you must complete the liberal studies requirement, which is eight credits of 300, 400 level general education coursework. So the nursing major plus the liberal studies requirement will get you to the 40 credits of upper division coursework you need. If you happen to transfer in a nursing major course from the community college, that course would be lower division since community colleges only offer lower division coursework. In this case, you would need an upper division elective course to reach the upper division requirement. I'd like to highlight here a few non-nursing courses in the program. Starting fall 2022, statistics is no longer required for our program. However, we do recommend statistics if you still need to complete Minnesota Transfer Curriculum Goal 4 math, or if you may be considering a graduate nursing program in the future, as many of those programs will require statistics for program entry. Sometimes students may need to start at a lower level to build their math foundation before jumping into statistics, especially if they haven't had math for a while or they didn't progress through intermediate algebra and their previous educational experiences. We do have placement testing available to help guide students in figuring out what would be the appropriate place to start on the math pathway. If you choose to take statistics to fulfill goal for math, you just need to complete the requirement anytime before graduation. Medical ethics is a non-nursing course required for the RNDBSN program. If you already completed a general ethics course, we will accept that in lieu of medical ethics. But if you haven't completed an ethics course, we would like you to complete medical ethics because it is more relevant to the major. Please note that if you complete medical ethics at Metro State, our course is upper division and will count toward the liberal studies and 40 upper division credit requirements. If you have questions about next steps or would like further information, we've included some helpful resources with their contact information. Please feel free to reach out with any questions you may have. This concludes this portion of the virtual RN to BSN information session. I welcome you to watch other videos in our series. We appreciate you joining us today and wish you well as you continue to explore your educational pursuits.